Okay, so when you're putting an ear tag into a cow, um, it's really important to use the same brands on your ear tag and your ear tagger. Sometimes they don't work the same way if you've got a different brand. Um, this one here, the button goes over top of this little spike. It just slides right over top of it. So when the cow's ear is getting tagged, that's actually what's poking through the skin. It's not the tagger itself. So it helps with the sanitary conditions. Um, and another thing to keep in mind when you're doing this, make sure this isn't dirty. If you drop it on the ground, make sure you clean it off. Um, when that pierces the ear, you could get infection in there. So it's just gonna be something you have to take care of later if you don't do that. Uh, so this is the ear tag. Uh, this cow actually had one and you can see it got ripped out. So this is a, just a good example of how ear tags are not a permanent form of identification. Um, she does not have a tattoo in her ears, so there's no way to know who she is other than this ear tag. Um, obviously, it's important to have these in so we know which animals are which. We know, you know, when she has a calf, we know who it, you know, who it belongs to. Um, if we've had to give her any medicine, if she's had hurt feet. So when you're ready to put the number in itself, you just flip it over. So for our, this brand, you hold it over, pitch this up, and slide it right in, okay? So I'm gonna put the tag in this ear since the other one's ripped out, so I actually need to flip it around. And when you're putting the tag in the ear, you can zoom in on this some, you can see these ribs. So you wanna go right in the middle there's kind of three sections. You want to go right in the middle of that rib. That way you're missing any cartilage or anything like that that might hurt. It's a simple one there. And you're done. She's got a tag in her ear again.